Hello and welcome to learn image processing using MATLAB for beginners. In this lecture we use MATLAB to realize the Fourier transformations. So we have inbuilt functions called FFT and IFFT which work on the vectors, FFT2 and IFFT2 which work on matrices, FFT shift which is to shift the frequency F00 to the center for display. Now since FUV is a complex number we really can't view them directly. To display the magnitude there are three methods which we can adopt. One we can find the maximum magnitude of FUV and use FUV divided by M with IM show function. Or we can directly use mat 2 gray function which automatically scales a matrix for display as an image. Since DC component is much larger than the others, hence we stress three values using the logarithmic function as we've seen in the previous lectures. Now let's realize this using MATLAB. So suppose I have a vector x, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I can just simply find out the Fourier transformation using FFT on the vector and this will give me the values. I can use inverse Fourier transformation on y which should give me back the original values. Now suppose I have a which is ones of 8 cross 8 so I can find out the Fourier transformation of this. So you can see here F00 gives me the magnitude which is the average intensity which is addition of all these intensity values 64 because I had 8 cross 8 values so 64 is here. This is the DC component and as expected I have zeros otherwise. I can use this and I can shift FFT shift and I can again use this value so this should center it over here. Now I can have a corrugation function so maybe I just have two values of 100 100 so this is a 2 cross 2 matrix I can create a rep mat which is repetition of A 4 cross 4 so I have this kind of an image I have basically two frequencies now I will try to apply Fourier transformation on this so I will say FFT and I apply it on B. So you can see here my F00 is 9600 which is basically the total value DC component and this corrugation gives me the value th minus 3200. Similarly I can make a box so maybe I make a box of so I first have an A with all zeros I assign values from 78 to 178 78 to 178 as ones. So I'll have a black and white image here. I can just see it. So I have a box here. So let's see how the Fourier transformation looks like for this. I can say AF is equal to F52 and I apply it on the A. I can see this value. I can now do a shift operation on this to shift the DC value to the center. So you can see this is what we're getting in the center. Now to view it properly we had those options so I can just say AF1 is equal to I can take the log value I take the max value of this as seen in the presentation I can get the maximum value of any matrix using this and I will use this with I am show I will use a figure with this convert it into an integer 8 AF1 divided by FM which is the maximum value so this is more like it. So this is my image and this is how the Fourier transform looks like. We can also try the I am show with mat to gray which automatically does the scaling and we use the logarithmic function as well. So this is the way I can find out my Fourier transformations. Now this brings us to the end of this lecture. I will see you in the next one. Thank you.